And my um, presentation kicks off by referring to uh, the uh, main conclusion of the uh, report uh, which was published um, uh, uh, two and a half years ago called the International Assessment of Agricultural Science and Technology for Development. The way the world grows its food will have to change radically to better serve the poor and hungry if the world is to cope with growing population and climate change while avoiding social breakdown and environmental collapse. I want to talk to you about how to reinvent things. And definitely I want to talk to you about the difference between efficiency and effectiveness. Traditionally people, in, in, and I really appreciate all these footprint calculations which you do because it helps us to understand material flows. Uh, Another thing what I would ask you is, can you please uh, do a, a soil footprint calculation? For me, this is the most critical one. Well, I think it's very important for people, for representatives from the um, organic or the sustainability movement to attend these events because if everybody goes out to the market with a individual company brand-based statement, um, people, consumers get confused. Sam Christmas. I'm from Green Palm uh, Limited. I'm business development executive. Um, Green Palm it operates the book and claim um, supply chain option um, for the RSPO. I was very satisfied uh, with all the information I got here with the presentations. They were very good, very good level in general. Of course. There's always something you're not very in tune with, but this doesn't detract in any point uh, to, to the, the high standard of the summit. I really enjoyed and I acquired a lot of new information. So this is very important to the sustainability area we work in. I get a lovely invitation to be here as a speaker and uh, I feel honored to share my experiences with the community here. I think there are a lot of impressions, a lot of information, and um, it helps to find your own position as a company. What is the effect of the glyphosate on the human body? And I would say to you Europeans, I eat in fact. We are talking about sustainability or climate change. It's about people, it's about emotions. And for example, in Switzerland, they don't like genetic modified um, yeah, Trios Bank is really uh, specialized and focused on sustainable agriculture and um, for us being here is a excellent opportunity to meet all our stakeholders. There is a lot of excellent work um, being done in sustainability and I think that the industry needs to communicate that um, in a much more credible way um, to every part of the business community. <laughs> I was at the Sustainable Food Summit in January in San Francisco and uh, it was a fascinating overview uh, from a lot of different viewpoints about the social impact, the environmental impact and of course the economic impact that everyone needs to be aware of for sustainability. So the question is about packaging, how packaging can you of the carbon footprint in relation to what happens on the farm. I think this is the time, the time is ripe now for, for companies and other interests 
to slowly converge, to, to join forces on, on measuring sustainable farming and food. This is the moment because we're all waiting for, for a single system, for clear definitions, clear data, so that farmers will just have to fit in one single form, one single system, and all the world will know how sustainable they are. I'm here to learn more about the activities in the field of organic certification, also other sustainable food uh, initiatives. I'm very happy to assist uh, to the uh, Sustainable Food Summit here today because I think it's a, a good, good global overview of what's happened in the world of organic fair trade products. In the fourth edition of the Sustainable Food Summit, we focused on climate change and sustainable ingredients. So we had a different audience to what we've had in previous years. We had more representation from the meat and dairy industry as well as agricultural producers to see how they can look at their carbon footprint, to see how they can look at their water footprint and how they can minimise environmental impacts. In future summits we want to continue to examine major issues the food industry faces regarding eco-labels and sustainability. Some of the key areas we plan to look at in 2012 are sustainable packaging, sustainable proteins, as well as supply chains. How can you make supply chains more sustainable, more efficient?